Here we have a Rosemount Extreme Gas Analyzer. It currently measures oxygen in percent. It also measures carbon monoxide in parts per million. We're going to demonstrate a calibration of the oxygen sensor. We're not going to touch the uh, carbon monoxide today. The display is right up there. You can see the readouts there. And down here you can see where the sample lines are. The sample comes through this port right here through a 2 micron filter. We want to make sure that any air coming in here gets filtered out of any particulate. Here the green hose you see is where we have our argon gas plumbed in for the zero gas. The green hose goes back to an argon tank. We have this going through a pressure regulator and a rotometer, so it limits, limits to a very, very small flow. The idea is we're using the argon gas as a 0% oxygen standard. We're going to use the atmosphere as a 20.9% oxygen standard to do our calibration. And the way the analyzer is set up, it has internal solenoid valves that will switch between the sample port, the zero port, and the span port back there. So what it's going to do in the course of the calibration procedure, it'll switch to the zero port, draw in pure argon, it's going to call that 0% oxygen. Then it will switch to the span port right there, draw in atmospheric air, it's going to call that 20.9%. So first let's get our menu, get into the uh, setup menu. So we go into setup, and in the setup menu, we're going to be taking a look at the calibration. We want to tell it what our two gases are. So calibration gases, we'll select that option for the oxygen. Yep, go ahead. And our two gases are zero gas, 0% zero and span gas, 20.9. If we were using different gases for calibration, we would put their oxygen percentages in those fields. We're done with that, so we'll go back to the home menu. Now we're going to go into control. That's how we enter the calibration. We're going to do a zero calibration first. We're going to do it for oxygen, yep, and we're going to start the calibration. So go down to start and select that option. What it's doing right now, according to this display, it is purging the line. So it has switched the solenoid valve over to our zero gas, and it's currently purging the internal plumbing of any residual sample. So all we're going to be drawing in now is pure uh, argon. You can see the percentage of O2 going down and down and down as it continues the purge cycle. It's going to finish purging in about 8 seconds. Then as soon as it's done purging, it's going to say, OK, I trust that all that is now filled with argon, 0% oxygen. What it's doing now is it's calibrating based on uh, the assumption of this being 0%. Currently, you can see a small zero error. It's measuring 0.04 or 0.03% oxygen. Again, we're trusting this argon to be 0% oxygen. I have not analyzed it with a, another analyzer to verify that assumption. But for us, it's close enough. When it gets to the end of the cycle, right here, it's going to say, aha, that is 0.0% and it should adjust that number right there. And now currently it's purging. It's going back to the sample port. It has switched the solenoid over to draw ambient air into the sample. <coughs> so now it's reading pretty close to uh, ambient oxygen levels. When it's done with this purge cycle, it's going to tell us that it's done. At that point, we'll go into another menu and commence the span calibration. This is important that it lets you know it's purging. That way you don't trust the reading taken during that time. And the procedure, when it says none, tells us it's done with the calibration. Now I'll back out of that menu. Go back into control, and now we're going to do a span calibration. Once again for oxygen, correct, and now we'll start the span calibration. So currently it's reading 20.86, it is purging the airline. Now although you don't see any change up here, what's happened is it has switched from drawing in sample air through the sample port, is now drawing air through the span port. In fact, you can feel a very slight suction there through that uh, that other port as it does so. In, if this were a calibration done, let's say with 100% pure oxygen, we would have a tank with 100% pure oxygen connected to that span port. In this case, we're using atmospheric air. It's almost done with purging. There we go. Now it's doing a span. It's going to take 30 seconds and average the readings it gets within that 30 second. And it's going to say, aha, that is 20.9% oxygen because that's what we told it to expect. 
in about 15 more seconds it will be done with its averaging of values. go. Notice it adjusted the number to 20.9. It's calling that 20.9% because that's what we told it it was. It has now switched the solenoid back to purging, taking air to the sample port. We don't expect to see much of a change in percentage because we were using air as our span calibration. We're now using air as the sample. No difference. When it's done with this, it'll say procedure none, telling us that the calibration procedure is commenced. I should say that it's finished. There we go. Now I can go back to the home menu. And we're back home and it says O2 measurement 20.91%. Now once again we have not done a carbon monoxide calibration so it's reading off. Uh, we don't have a suitable spam gas to do a calibration there. And that's it. That's how we do a calibration, at least for the oxygen, on Rosemount Xtreme Analyzer.